Europeans are infertile, and here's why. Contrary to everything you've been taught in school or seen on National Geographic, Africa is the most genetically diverse region on Earth, housing the deepest well of genetic complexity known to science. According to the widely accepted out of Africa theory, all non-African populations descend from a single migratory group and share one common maternal ancestor, meaning Europeans and Asians are all distant cousins sharing the same narrow slice of mitochondrial DNA. Meanwhile, populations that have remained solely within Africa possess a vast range of unique mitochondrial lineages that aren't found anywhere else on the planet. In simpler terms, everyone outside Africa has been remixing the same genetic playlist for tens of thousands of years, making them genetically stagnant and effectively long-distance inbreeders. But that's just part one. Here comes the kicker. Africans have 0% Neanderthal DNA. Europeans? <laughs> Up to 5%. That legacy of crossbreeding with now extinct hominins has stuck around and not in a good way. It's, it's been quietly linked to higher rates of pregnancy failure, reduced fertility, and fewer twin births. Add to that the modern European lifestyle, where fertility is often traded for career milestones, bar crawls, and yoga retreats. And by the time many women decide to have children in their mid-30s, nature's clock has already started closing shop. But sure. Let's keep pretending this fertility crisis is just some quirky coincidence.